Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to analyze your mock tests. See, we all know why mock tests are important. Mock tests are important because they give you an actual feel of the exam before the actual exam. Uh, and uh, analyzing your mocks can actually improve your performance by the time you actually appear for the actual exam. And it's okay to get wrong answers in mocks so that you don't get wrong answers in your actual exam. Now, as far as analyzing your mock test is considered, physics, chemistry, and biology, every subject has a different strategy. The important point is that what things should you analyze? Should you analyze your right answers? No. It's something which you're getting right now, you will get them right during your actual exam as well. What you should analyze is your wrong answers and why you're getting them wrong. So every subject has a different strategy and I'll start with physics and chemistry, especially as far as the concepts is concerned. I can broadly group the mistakes, I'll say. Obviously, there will be other types of mistakes as well into three categories. First is a silly mistake. You know these questions, know these questions, you know the understand the concepts of this question. You will definitely arrive at a right answer when you are in a relaxed state probably, but during the mock, maybe or in over excitement or under confidence, you mark this question wrong. Uh, giving you an example, in my AAPMT means I mark negative, negative, becoming positive. I mark that wrong. I made it as negative in a chemistry question that I still remember that mistake nine years after giving my exam actually. So these are the silly mistakes. The entire purpose of giving more and more mock and giving being more, uh, being uh, uh, practicing more questions is to ensure that your silly mistakes keep on going down as the final exam approaches. So I made just one silly mistake in that exam, not many. So, and similar, you might be making more 10, 20 or 30 and you can easily improve upon that. Then other types is there are two types of conceptual mistakes that we tend to make. One, we don't have any idea about the concepts. Like, you know, they will be essentially be going over our head. And the third one is we are applying it in a wrong way. So as far as the silly mistake is concerned, practice more tests so that they get to zero. As far as the analytical error is concerned, that you you do know the concept, you understand how the question is framed, you think you can get to the answer, but you're not getting to the answer. Uh, you just can need to refine your concept more. So practice similar problems again and again and again. And as far as the third type, ki you don't understand what the concept is, you don't have any idea. In such a scenario, I'll say, Look at previous year questions. If similar questions have been asked, fair enough. If they haven't been asked, let it go to, you know, chuck it. Doesn't really matter. If it hasn't been asked in past 10 years, there's a very high chance that it won't be asked this time as well. Now, as far as chemistry, inorganic chemistry and biology is concerned, uh, they are mostly factual errors. You are not able to remember the facts. They can be, the factual errors also, I think, can be of two types things which you're not remembering from NCRT and things which you're remembering from NCRT. If you're, you are not able to remember something which is outside, outside of NCRT in that particular mock, I'll say doesn't really matter. Uh, just remember that small fact and move on. You know, uh, I understand that five or maybe six questions might come out of NCRT. So in the mock, if there are five, six questions out of NCRT, that's perfectly fine. Just remember those facts and move on. That's about it. But if you're not remembering something from NCRT, then read that chapter and read those particular paragraphs and that understanding of NCRT again. Now, as far as you keep on asking me, uh, how from where should we give mocks and everything, you know? So in this particular regard, I'll recommend an app. They are having a mock test series right now. It's called Basidia. I've already recommended this app before and I really do the few apps as far as need UGI I promote, one or two actually. And Basidia is one of them. Why? Because it probably has the best user interface that I've actually encountered in any app. The second uh, most, and uh, this thing I'm really uh, glad, most of the tests are NCRT based. So the factual errors, the 50% of your syllabus, biology and the 20, 30% of your chemistry syllabus, they are NCRT based, so you don't get them wrong. There are other features that I'll talk later in the video. So this is the Basidia app. Uh, like I said, it's probably one of the few apps that I really like because it's very smooth uh, user interface. That is UI. And you'll get exact replica of your neat mock test given here. Along with that, uh, physics, chemistry, biology is not like bio specific app, it's not a physics specific app. Every test uh, you can see, like I said, right, you have to focus on your wrong answers. And every test that whichever answer you give right or wrong, you will be able to have a NCRT based explanation of that particular test of where your concept went wrong or where your concept went right along with exactly where in NCRT that particular test example is given so that your theory questions or theory uh, if non non numerical part of physics also or the no theoretical aspect of chemistry also get apart it. from that one thing I really like about this app is the custom test that you can actually choose okay I wanted to study these topics I've studied these topics so I will be doing these these particular topics and since you'll be doing those those particular topics since you did let's say you did a particular by subject today so you can practice that specific topic at that point of time and as usual the good thing about the app like I said before is all the questions and their explanations are NCRT based 
uh, be it uh, especially in case of biology the questions are ncrt based and this will help you get uh, better marks as far as biology so basidia is having its own mock test series right now an ncrt based mock test series that will help you gauge your preparation at the same point of time the test series will help you analyze your weak points which you should not the mistakes that you're making right now you should not make in your actual exam to improve and boost your rank so do check it out basidia do check out the mock test series that they are offering thank you and have a nice day you can use my code given in the description to get a 10% discount